Well, how do there, chums? As I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, we've got a little bit of No Man's Sky news. We got ourselves a new patch update that came in, but I think it fixed more than what the patch update actually says. So let's jump on over to Tinterweb, and I'll show you what I mean. So I'm over here on side of the Steam Experimental Branch, and you can see here the actual Experimental Branch 2020, uh, the 24th of the 4th, which was, you know, yesterday, fixed a crash to white screen while teleporting, which can occur when discovery data has become corrupted. Haven't had that issue myself. Now, there's a load of other fixes that went in on the 19th, but this still is curious because I'm seeing a different fix inside of game to the Quicksilver store, which I'm going to show you on my PC experimental branch. Let's jump on over to PC experimental, shall we, people? Well, how do there, people? Right, well, I'm inside of the PC experimental branch. So this isn't live just yet, but look at Johnny Five's little bar above his kiosk. Above his kiosk, it only has three sections now. One, two, and three. And the progress of tier two is moving faster than what tier one was moving. Anyway, let's go and speak to Johnny Five. Now, I've picked up the ice statue inside of this sort of save. So there we go, already owned. And you can see here... Well, just above my head. In fact, I might need to just take my camera set off the screen for a second. Chicka boom. You can see there it is tier one, two and three. So it looks like they have actually fixed the issue with it showing four tiers rather than the three. I'm going to jump on over onto, P onto my PlayStation save. You know, it, it's not got the experimental branch. I don't think we're going to see anything go over there in way of change. However, this looks like it will be coming to all platforms very soon. So, yeah, it's, it, it's a bit of news. It's a little bit of news. It's not great news. Well, it is good news. It's a fix to something. Yeah, excellent day. Okay, now chums, I am on my PlayStation D5. Oh my days, I'm getting stuck in all sorts of weirdness. And here's the bar above the Quicksilver store here. Chikapow. And even though we haven't had an actual update on PlayStation, it's now gone from... There were four bars. There was four bars up there before, people. Now there's only three. So... It looks like they can affect those bars and also the time durations and things from external. There you go. I haven't bought it over on my PC. But you can quite clearly see above my head there, it is only three tiers now, where it was four tiers before. So it looks like Hello Games have fixed it, people, which is freaking lovely. So now, hopefully, we're going to see the progress move a little bit quicker on Tier 2 and Tier 3. Hopefully, we can get these unlocked fairly quickly. And then there's another three decals left to unlock as well. I'm just going to jump in my ship, out of my ship to create a save. So, you know, as I've got my little ice decal. But I will jump on over onto a bigger picture of myself. And I'll show you on the actual app, people, what's coming next. I guess, jump in. And let's jump on out. Chicka boom! There's my save. Brilliant day! Okay, people, right, so here's the No Man's Sky app. And you can see there the ice statues are now showing the top progress because before it was showing like it was an expedition being tracked or something. So at least all that's working nicely. But next off, we've got these three decals left to go. We've got To the Stars decal, the Awakenings decal, and the Poor Prince decal. So these decals, you can use them inside of your bases on walls. There's certain walls that they stick to nicely, other walls that they freaking don't. But yeah, some of them are all right. I mean, that one's okay with the two ships. I quite like that one. And I do like this one because it looks like my actual PC background that I've got up at the moment, doesn't it? A little bit anyway. Heck yeah. And the Paul Prince one, although I probably wouldn't use it for all that much, if you're, if you're a fan of pets at your base or something, you could always put that... I don't know, on a pet bed or something, couldn't you? Where your pets sleep or something. Quite cute, I suppose, if you use it for that sort of shenanigans. But anyway, if you haven't got the No Man's Sky Assistant app, why not? It's freaking free! And it's on iOS, it's on Android, it's pretty much on every platform. And if you don't want it on your mobile device, there is actually a web version as well. It's made by a guy called Kurt. Yes, he's an awesome guy, is Kurt. Heck yes, he comes to the meetup pretty much every year and helps up with all sorts, including the raffle. He's a lovely guy, is Kurt. Kurt, if you're watching, salute Mondo, you lovely man. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.